you with a little bottle of sunscreen and spray you every day. I had two hats. I brought two of my life in my fucking hats. <laughs>
please rise.
Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready to begin the graduation ceremonies for the class of 2023. On behalf, on behalf of the Board of Education and the class of 2023, we extend a welcome to all. We recognize seated on the stand behind me, members of the Snowflake Unified School District School Board, they are Mr. Corey Johnson, President, Mrs. Wendy McVicker, Vice President, Mr. Shea Flake, Member, and Mrs. Carol Palmer, Member. Also seated up here is Mr. Hollis Merrill, SUSD Superintendent, Mr. Shane Brimhall, Assistant Principal, Mr. Kevin Standifer, Assistant Principal and AD, and Mr. Aaron Hewish, YTP Director. At this time, I'd like to thank members of the Snowflake Unified School District maintenance and janitorial and IT departments for helping to get the facility ready for tonight. I also want to thank the high school faculty and the staff for their efforts in making it possible for these students to be able to walk tonight. This is a terrific group of young people sitting here in front of us. It has been my pleasure to go through this year and watch them grow. We all know that they could not have done this on their own. At this time, we'd like to honor those that have played the greatest part in their lives. You may have noticed many in our audience wearing a blue or a white ribbon. These are the stalwart parents of our graduates. I'd like to invite all of you wearing a blue or a white ribbon to stand and let us applaud you. Please join with us in making this commencement worth remembering for the class of 2023 by honoring the dignity of this event. Please treat them with respect they deserve. The leaders of the senior class have put together an excellent program for the evening. The ceremony will proceed as outlined. We will have a national anthem by the Madrigals, after which we'll have a, an address by the salutatorium, William Braden LeDuc. We'll have the J. Rufus Crandall Award performance by Dean Ballard, who will be performing Lord of the Rings. We'll have the valedictorian address by Audrey Kate Christensen. We'll have a song by the Madrigals for good. After that, we will present the graduates and they'll be on their way. Thank you.
there under your name. Sorry, this thing gets everywhere. Okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. I'm Braden LaDuke. Um, it's a pleasure to stand before you all today. Um, today, as we gather here to celebrate in the culmination of our academic journey, I stand before you as the salutatorian of the class of 2023. <laughs> I love you, Braden. It is an incredible honor to address you all on this momentous occasion. First and foremost, I would like to extend uh, my deepest gratitude to all of our dedicated teachers, mentors, and administrators who have guided us throughout our years of education. Your unwavering commitment to our growth and success has truly made a lasting impact on all of our lives. I would also like to extend a special thank you to all of my friends and family who have supported me all the way through high school and more. <laughs> to my fellow graduates, congratulations. We have reached the end of this chapter in our lives, and as we move forward, we must reflect on the path we have taken. Our high school years have been filled with challenges, triumphs, and countless unforgettable memories. We have tackled rigorous academic pursuits, engaged in extracurricular activities, and formed lifelong friendships. Each of us has grown immensely, not only in terms of knowledge, but also in character. I've only had the privilege of living here in Snowflake for about a year and a half, and as I've spent the end of my high school years here in Snowflake, I've learned that this is a very special place, and I'm very privileged to have came here. I think it has been just one of the best things that could have happened to me in my life. As salutatorian, I've uh, been given the privilege of representing our class, and I would regret if I did not acknowledge the collective effort and resilience we have demonstrated. Together, we have navigated the complexities of the past few years and um, we have exhibited strength, adaptability, and an unyielding determination to succeed. Throughout our high school journey, we have been encouraged to dream big and reach for the stars. Students are always asking, you know, in class, when are we ever going to use this stuff again? When are we ever going to solve a calculus problem or do chemistry or whatever when you're out in the real world? But even with these subjects, our teachers have taught us invaluable skills that we can use for the rest of our lives. Skills like critical thinking, creativity, and the pursuit of knowledge. They've challenged us to be more than what we might just want to be. Challenged us to do more than just coast along. However, as we embark on our individual paths, let us not forget the values and lessons that have shaped us. Let us remember to strive for greatness in all that we do. Doing so can create a future for ourselves that we can truly be proud of. As we leave the confines of high school and venture into the unknown, it is natural to feel a bit of excitement and also fear. But we, can, we may encounter setbacks and face uncertainties but let us not be deterred. The challenges we encounter will serve as stepping stones to our personal and professional growth. We must embrace them, learn from them, and persevere, for it is through adversity that we truly discover our own strength and resilience. In closing, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to our parents and families for their unwavering support, sacrifices, and belief in us. Without your love and encouragement, we would not be standing here today. To my classmates, thank you for the friendships we have forged, the memories we have created, and the laughter we have shared. I'm immensely proud of each one of you. And as we take our final steps across this stage and into the world beyond, let us carry with us the lessons learned and these friendships and the dreams that we hold in our hearts. Let us embrace the challenges that lie ahead and take them head on that we may forge ahead and make a better tomorrow. Congratulations, class of 23, 2023. May our futures be filled with purpose, success, and boundless happiness. Thank you.
guess it's my turn. <clears throat> and Dean, that was amazing, by the way. <clears throat> Hi, guys. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I spent like a solid hour trying to find a joke, but most people don't get my humor, so I guess we'll just see what happens. Um, these past few weeks have been so busy, it's been a little difficult to fully realize we're graduating. The last 12 years of our lives have been building up to this moment. We've had so many lasts, last day of school, last finals, last school dance, and this here now is probably the last time that we will all be together. <laughs> A few weeks ago, as our thoughts began turning to graduation, I had a bit of a realization. This may be the only time we graduate, but the teachers and staff at our school have seen many graduating classes of Lobos. And that made me a little sad. We're all people, like everyone else, and almost everyone graduates. But our graduation is happening to us. It feels so much more significant than just another graduation. For those of you that were not here or are having trouble remembering, our high school was, sorry, excuse me. Our high school experience was different than most. <clears throat> we began our freshman year excited to be at a new school and excited to be treated as adults. Finally, our end goal was in sight. <clears throat> Our first three quarters of high school were amazing, but then everything changed. We went on spring break and we never came back. <clears throat> the beginning of our high school careers was also the beginning of quarantine in 2020. Sophomore year was also very different because of the mask mandate. Learning's a little difficult when you have a mask pulling at your ears. New classmates were difficult to get to know without seeing their faces. And when the mask requirement was finally lifted, it was a huge relief. I mention this now to show how persevering you've been and how resilient you've been. Through everything that has happened, the class of 2023 has lost some numbers. Even since the beginning of this school year, we began with over 200 students. Now, nine months later, our numbers have dwindled to about 190. <clears throat> but through it all, whether it was quarantine, social distancing, or finals, each and every one of you here today has persevered and kept going. You're more than just another graduating class. You're not just Lobos, you're survivors. Like most other survivors, we could not be here without help. First and foremost, we owe everything we've learned to all the teachers we've had over the years. Each of them is here because they want to pass their knowledge on to us. Their job is extremely difficult. So on my and my fellow students' behalf, thank you. Thank you also to our guidance counselors, along with all the other office staff, who've been such useful resources in applying for scholarships and overall given really good advice. Without their contributions, our school could not function. I'd also like to thank all the family, neighbors, and friends who've helped support us over the years, especially my parents, for always giving me any advice and support they could and to help me through all the late nights with homework, even if they didn't understand it all. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to thank my classmates for the last four years. Some of you longer than that, some of you shorter than that, but all of you have been here. Most of all, thank you for making this last year so worth it. <laughs> Everything else tonight and over the next few days is going to be a whirlwind. But when you get the next chance, <laughs> take a few minutes to think about your future. We are all going to walk a different path in our lives. Whether we are going to college, trade school, or joining the military, to name a few. <clears throat> Wherever you decide to go, I want you to remember three things. First, work hard. Theodore Roosevelt said, nothing worth having comes easy. He's right. 
The journey to our goals is what makes them most memorable. Our journey to this moment has spanned the vast majority of our lives. It's finally here. You've worked hard for it. Enjoy it. Second, be smart. It's okay to change plans or to do something differently. It's staying in a fire that gets you burned. We may be ready for life, but we're still young. We do not have everything figured out right away, and we don't need to. It is okay to change your mind. Third, times are going to get tough. It's just a part of life. When it gets tough, you're going to want to quit, but you have to remember you are a survivor. You have done hard things. You can do hard things again. You're graduating high school, for heaven's sake. Work hard, be smart, and remember, you're a survivor. And as always, go class of 2023.
Mr. Merrill and members of the Snowflake Unified School Board, it is with great pleasure that I present to you the graduating class of 2023. Good evening. Prior to presenting the class, I'd like to take a brief moment and thank Principal Larry Titus for his many years of dedicated service to Snowflake High School. He'll be retiring after 22 years as principal this year. During his tenure, there's been many notable achievements. The most important is the increased student achievement that led to the school achieving an A rating, a rating that they've maintained for many years now. Please join with me in giving him a round of applause. Sorry, <laughs> Larry. That was off script and he didn't know where, he would not have wanted me to do that, but 22 years deserves at least a couple of sentences. Now back to the graduates. On behalf of the administration, governing board and staff, I offer our congratulations to the seniors of 2023. We also wish you the best as you move forward in your lives. At this time, I do certify that these honored seniors have met the requirements for graduation required by the State of Arizona and the Snowflake Unified School District Governing Board and are now ready to receive their diplomas. Cosette Elizabeth Allen. <laughs> Thomas Braden Anderson. Dorian Dallin Ashley. Brooklyn McKay Austin. Taylor Ann Bacon. <laughs> Caitlin Nicole Bozinski. <laughs> Dean Harvey Ballard. <laughs> Bryce Dane Barbrick. Yes, 
Alicia Marie Barlow. Benson Alexander Beatty. Armando Begay. Cambria May Bowman. Nakai Nora Rose Bracker. Brecken McKay Brimhall. Matthew Peter Brimhall. Tegan Lee Brimhall. Jaron Ross Kyoto Brooks. Easton Coy Butler. Selena Luis Campos. Mackenzie Brena Carcamo. Braden Michael Cardita. <laughs> Courtney Ray Carden. <laughs> Damon Allen Cardwell. Nathan William Chamberlain. <laughs> Collins Adair Chapman. <laughs> Elise Don Clarson. Lance Turley Christensen. Audrey Kate Christensen. Katie Lynn Siminski. Tyler Joseph Clare. Oh, Brylan David Clark. Yeah. Omni Nathaniel Click. Tristan Walker Clough. <laughs> Olivia Yolanda Catherine Cordova. <laughs> Coy Trail Crandall. Garrett Wayne Craner. Yeah! 
Kyle Hollis Decker. Shante Nicole Donetso. <laughs> Cooper Joshua DeWitt. <laughs> Wade Hunter Doki. <laughs> Logan Thomas Dunford. Lot Stratton Dutcher. Drayson Webb Farnsworth. Lillian Farnsworth. <laughs> Riley K. Finch. <laughs> Ian Thomas Fish. <laughs> Slade Elijah Fish. Addison K. Flake. Yeah! Austin Reed Flake. <laughs> Garrett Wallace Flake. J.D. Fern Flake. <laughs> Tragen Taylor Flake. <laughs> Trey Darren Flake. Jeremy Michael Fowler. <laughs> Braden Dale Frost. <laughs> Jennifer Nicole Gale. Denise Garcia Ruiz. <laughs> Tyler Dylan Gardner. <laughs> Victoria Grace Gibson. <laughs> Ramsey Allen Gonzalez. April Lynn Goss. <laughs> Caleb Benjamin Gresco. Adelaide K. Hatch. Audrey Elaine Hatch. John Dallin Hatch. Sadie Ray Hatch. Thayden Crush Hensley. <laughs> Athena Isabel Hernandez.
Amber Faith Herzman. Brandy Lynn Hess. Lillian Brooke Holum. Elijah Joseph Jackson. Brooklyn Lee Johnson. Garrett William Johnston. Kira Emily Johnston. Kaylee Ann Kovacs. Andrew Joseph Kupfer. William Braden LeDuc. Aubrey Marie Lerma. He'll dance for us, though. Give us something to make you. I got you out. Jimmy Leon Lerma Jr. Braden Moroni Lewis. Jaylee Jeanette Lewis. Kay Lynn. John Terry Calico Vehi Vehi Lindsay. Cooper James Love. <laughs> Lily Lundberg. <laughs> Cash Brayton Blunt. Felicia Lene Maldonado. <laughs> Amelia Rose Marsh. Kayla Marie Mason. <laughs> Blaine Lee Matthews. <laughs> Caden Andrew Maytot. <laughs> Brevin Dean Matthews. Paige Ryan McCartney. Davin Lane McCray. Emily Ann McCullough. <laughs> William James McGee.
Cade Michael McMillan. Victoria Lee McVicker. <laughs> Ethel Ann Medlin. <laughs> Lucy Renee Melser. <laughs> Mason Trent Mortensen. Jordan James Mowers. Ashton Pudge Blaze Munger. Antonio Matthew Munoz. Aiden William Nelson. Brooklyn Rose Nicholas. Haley Olson. Derek Cruz Ortiz. <laughs> Wesley Bo James Paz. <laughs> Katie Joe Penrod. Mackenzie Alyssa Penrod. <laughs> Katie Diane Maria Perkins. <laughs> Rebecca Christine Perkins. Tyson Grant Perry. <laughs> Emily Joe Peterson. <laughs> Riley Nicole Peterson. Deonche Nicole Pettit Hernandez. <laughs> Justin Ponce. <laughs> Angelina Grace Powell. Jacob Aaron Prestwich. Shayna Marie Price. Aiden Radke. Damon Joshua Razor. Cooper Drake Rapier. Taylin Brooke Reed. Megan Marie Reedhead. Ready? 
Zachary Brian Breedhead. Colin Carter Wrencher. Patrick Russell Wrencher. Riley Morgan Wrencher. Brianna Renee Reynolds. Bryce Norman Roten. <laughs> Allison Ritz. <laughs> Jesse Lynn Ruthier. Richard Clifford Ruiz. <laughs> Madeline Jayla Rushing. <laughs> Dwayne Michael Russell. Logan Michael Celine. <laughs> Joshua Daniel Sellers. <laughs> Jacob Tyler Shelley. Brenna Danae Sherwood. <laughs> Talena Schoen. <laughs> Ailey Beth Shumway. Tatum Diane Shumway. <laughs> Waylon Michael Shumway. <laughs> Reagan Leanne Sipes. Braden James Skinner. <laughs> Haley Joe Skinner. <laughs> Carly Rayanne Small. Michael Moroni Nephi Smith. <laughs> Riley Andalyn Smith. <laughs> Emma Christine Solomon. <laughs> Susanna Elizabeth Squire. Braden May Standifer. <laughs> 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 
Sabrina Nicole Steinbrecher. Enoch Mosiah Stewart. It's all better right now. Kalo Tatman. Nice easy stroll. Take a few hands. Jansen Reed Tenney. <laughs> May Tenney. Samantha Magdalene Toon. Yeah. Aspen Diane Towel. <laughs> Brigham Lee Trent. Ayana Danielle Trujillo Estrada. <laughs> Trey Joseph Tucker. <laughs> Riley Thomas Warner. Dallin McKay Weech. <laughs> Rhett Isaac Westbrook. <laughs> Callie Ann Westover. Brianna J.C. White. <laughs> Bryce Tanner White. <laughs> Brooklyn Rose Williams. Kirk Henry Williams. <laughs> Mikhail Andrea Williams. <laughs> Connor Riley Wilson. Jaron Ross Wilson. Brandon Michael Winder. Tyson Andrew Slade.
Congratulations, class of 2023. You may now move your tassel to the left side. At this time, we'd like to invite our senior class president, Emma Solomon, to address us. And then after she is finished, we will invite the senior class leaders to come up and lead us in the school song. I believe it's on your program. Not the fight song, the other one. We'll do it by candlelight. <laughs> it blew. They both just we went up in the air. The whole pole is gone. Well, we need to get Okay. <laughs> All right, all right. I guess this class is pretty, pretty good. They just blew all the power out of town. So, with that, we're still going to have Emma come up and do this, and then the class leaders, and then the students will walk out. We do want to remind you without any lights to be safe and uh, see where it goes. Also, we remind you that uh, in their little blue folders is nothing, so you do need to pick up your diplomas from the concession stand tonight, okay? <laughs> No, I think I'm good. Our dear, kind, and gracious Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for the opportunity that we have to gather here tonight and celebrate the completion of our time at Snowflake High School. We are thankful for the chance that we had to be able to create friendships and bonds with one another. We are thankful for all the many wonderful memories that we were able to make and all the many experiences we were able to have. Please help us to be able to take what we have learned throughout our four years here and bring it with us throughout the rest of our lives. We are thankful for our teachers and our parents and our coaches, our families and all our staff for helping us get to this point. We know that we could not have done it without them. Please help us to be able to be safe throughout the rest of this night and also throughout the rest of our lives. We love thee and we thank thee for all our many blessings and we say these things in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ, amen. amen. Great job, Emma. Like the other senior.
Let me, let me make an announcement first. All right. Before we have the song, one little announcement. Again, reminder to pick up your um, diplomas out of the concession stand. If we have power at the gym, we will open the gym and everybody can go in there and take pictures and do your hoorahs in there. Okay? Thank you. Do we know song? Please stand and join us in our school song. <laughs> All hail to thee, our high school, the finest in the land. We'll work for you, we'll boost for you with head and heart and hand. We're proud of all our standards, we'll help to keep them high. Enjoy, raise our voices, raise the cheer for you, old high. And hurrah for the blue and hurrah for the white. We'll stand by our colors, both royal and bright. We'll boost for our standards and for the old hearts. Hurrah for our banners, the blue and the white. Rah, 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 Don't forget your diplomas and go to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> 